Have you ever watched your hard-earned money disappear during some sort of market crash? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal some simple yet powerful strategies to protect your investments so that you avoid losing money when the market takes a nosedive. And stick around to the end because what you're about to learn in this video could literally be the difference between financial ruin and financial security. So let's get stuck in. Now there's three common problems that investors make that result in them losing money over time. And these are big problems. The first one is when a market crash happens, many of the investors panic and they sell off their assets at a loss. And this fear-based reaction can literally wipe out years of gains in just a few days, if not hours, or even minutes. 70 to 90% of investors lose money over time when the market crashes, but not because the investments go down in value, it's because of how they react to that. The second problem is, without a solid plan for your financial future as an investor, it becomes uncertain, and market crashes can lead to significant financial stress, impacting not just your bank account, but your overall well-being. In fact, almost 20% of relationships around mid-30s end due to some kind of financial stress. And then problem three, which is the biggest one, is opportunity cost. You're losing money and failing to build wealth by failing to prepare for a market crash because you could be missing out on potential opportunities to buy valuable assets at lower prices. And this can literally be the difference between 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, or never achieving financial freedom ever. And then what happens is you see something happen that you feel like you should have been in, and then you start revenge investing. The shoulda, woulda, coulda. And because you could have had this much, if only I'd just invested in that, let me know in the comments if that's ever happened to you. I'm sure there's a few of you out there, but that will result in you chasing investments, which is never a good position to be in. But having said that, it's usually not a good idea to just invest in one stock. All of your eggs are in one basket when you invest in one company, right? So you might say, okay, well, instead of just Apple, I'm gonna buy Apple and Samsung and Nokia and Sony, and you buy five tech stocks. Well, the problem with that is it's one sector. So if that sector then goes down, then so does your money, right? But then on the, on the flip side, it's also not wise to pick like 10, 20 stocks. Because if you've got 10 stocks and one of them does really well and goes up 100% in value, you've only increased your net worth by 10%. So you picked a really good stock and yet you haven't benefited or you haven't got the maximum benefit from doing that. So these strategies aren't the full picture. So what I'm gonna do here is give you a strategy to avoid those mistakes and those problems and actually have a sustainable way of really building wealth and actually keeping it. So I'm gonna give you five major tips and the fifth one is gonna help you radically build wealth and have an unfair advantage on 99% of retail traders and investors. So tip one is keep a cash buffer. You've heard me talk about this before. Before you start to invest, have a cash cushion. Have a liquid cash reserve of three to six months of your living cost stashed away, and that can help you avoid selling off your investments during a loss or during a market crash just by having that there. So aim to save at least three to six months worth of your living costs. So work out what that is, work out what you need to live, save that up, and that's the first action. Don't think about investing any of that money into the market and don't think about investing on anything else until you've got that. Anything that you save after you've got that, that can then be distributed into the market and investing, but stick that in a high interest account and forget about it, don't touch it. That will allow your brain to come alive and start to think logically about your next steps. Which leads me to tip two, which is diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across various asset classes. And then when a downturn happens in one area, it won't completely derail your portfolio. Look at this screenshot of a Vanguard account. At the beginning of the pandemic lockdown, I ran an experiment to my guys to show what would happen over the next few years if we kept this approach up during a crash and a crisis. And I said, I bet it will be eight to 10% per year return on investment. And I opened a separate account and look, this is about three and a half years of data since April 2020 to January 2024, and you can see that it's 33.6% return, which is almost bang on my prediction. 
£50,000 that I wouldn't have had had I tried to time the market. Now, although none of this is financial advice, you can look and you can learn about large index funds, which are pools of the best performing companies in the world that are automatically diversified and blended to give you the best return. The key is then to not try and time the market and inconsistently buy shares. Instead, is to regularly buy and when it goes up, you buy it. And when it goes down, you buy it. And you never stop buying. This is called dollar cost averaging. And it's an intelligent way to approximate the mean growth of the market over a long period of time. I've actually proven that if you tried to time the market and started investing right after the global financial crash in 2009, right at the start of the recovery, you would still have less money now, today, had you started investing just before the crash happened. That's the magic of dollar cost averaging. And that's what I was doing in that Vanguard account. Tip three, when it comes to passive investing or value investing or stock investing, stick to a long-term plan. Market crashes are very, very temporary. Long-term growth is permanent. If you've invested in solid long-term assets, it's crucial to stay the course and avoid panic selling. That's when you lose the most money. You want to approximate the mean growth of those assets over time. That's how you outperform most of the investors in the world who can't do that simple thing. Tip four is when we start to ramp it up. Value investing. Once you've got some money in the markets and you've neutralized your feelings and emotions towards the idea of having capital at work in the markets, you can then slowly increase your returns by adding some large cap stocks, then maybe some medium cap stocks, right? And your goal is to have a handful of great stocks that are long-term plays that are likely to weather the storm time and time again because you know they have in history. Which leads me to the final point, the biggest one, which is invest in yourself. Educate yourself. Knowledge is power. And I'm not talking about becoming an economic whiz kid and staying ahead of the world politics, right? But I'm talking about learning the fundamentals of stock investing and investing in general. Learn some qualitative analysis. Three statements that you need to understand how to read with any stock or any company are the balance sheet, the income statement, and the cash flow statement. The income statement is just the revenue, right? Very simple, revenue in. The balance sheet is the net worth of the company or the business, and the cash flow statement is how well the company is using the profit, how efficient the business is. You can learn a ton about the future of a company just by understanding those three things. You can form a solid story of how that stock has performed in the past and what it's likely to do in the future. Then there's qualitative measures, simple questions like, do I understand the company? Do I use the product myself? Is it easy to understand the product? Is it easy to use? Must the client keep buying the product? Is there some kind of tie-in? What's the brand like? You know, what's the tie-in like? Would I happily hold this stock for 10 years if I couldn't sell it? Do I actually want to be part of that company? If you can answer yes to those types of questions and combine it with the quantitative analysis that you've just performed, you've got a good case for entry. And then you wanna learn some of these incredible tools that we've got at our disposal today, like screeners, stock screeners. You can use Forecaster, which is my favorite, where you can use publicly available information on every public stock to perform some great analysis and you can compare seasonality, you can compare year upon year upon year of performance. And when you can combine all of that confluence into your investment decisions, it will really enable you to boost your wealth. Then all you have to do is have a strategy to execute that plan. I teach these strategies on this channel and in my programs, and if you're interested and you want access to some of those, please let me know in the comments right now and I'll send them to you. So look, I've got many high level personal clients and students that have got completely different lives today. He's transformed my life is probably the, the simplest way to put it. It's transformed my life. For me, the value I've got is nothing short than life changing because of implementing this stuff. And you can check out the testimonial page in the description. But now that you know about these strategies and now that you know that you can avoid losing money, it's now time for you to take action. It's time for you to educate yourself for your future. So review your investment portfolio, make sure it's diversified, set up that cash buffer, educate yourself on market trends, 
And by preparing now, you can fully safeguard your financial future when it comes to investing. You can seize every opportunity in the next market crash because that's where the opportunities are. And if you need any help, I'm always here. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Let's navigate the financial markets together and build a stable, prosperous future on this channel. I'll see you in the next one.